Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight, we have Dire Straits um, and this is from 1985, uh, the performance at Wembley Arena. Obviously looking at Mark Knopfler, uh, playing some uh, interesting lines on his guitar. But uh, let's get this up on screen and see how the guys are getting on. So really cool start. Um, I've seen this track uh, being played quite slowly sometimes. Mark kind of likes to change it up. This is a really, really cool groove that they've got going on in this um, kind of version of their Sultans of Swing track. And one thing about um, Dire Straits and Mark Knopfler as well is that you're always guaranteed of a great performance and a great band and a really tight band um, and if you watch this video you can instantly tell that they're so tight and everyone's so good on their instruments like the drum is so solid um, later on we'll be having a little bit of saxophone as well um, and straight away you know Mark's straight out the gates with some really nice lines in that intro and also um, just complementing his vocal just with these little breaks in between with uh, really great lines which of course with his style the way that he plays kind of with his thumb and a combination of his thumb and his fingers always gives it that unique sound that um, only Mark has really um, so yeah it's kind of really cool start um, I'm going to take it forward um, just a little bit so we get uh, a little bit of solo action going on. And just a couple of things there. Um, first of all, you kind of forget how clean Mark Knopfler is when he plays and how clean the tone is. Um, he's got some really great lines going on there that are super clean and super clear, um, which you need great technique in order to do. Um, and uh, the second point is that little lull that they have um, where they kind of go for like a bar, um, maybe a couple of bars into that kind of um, softer way of playing and then instantly bring it back. And you can see that Mark gives a little smile there because you can tell that all these guys are just enjoying playing um, because they're all on the same page and they're all such great musicians individually coming together. Um, similar thing, I did a video on Rush um, where you just get into how good the performance is because you can tell that the guys are at the top of their game and they're enjoying what they're playing as well. Um, the other thing that I want to draw attention to in this performance as well is that it goes on for almost 11 minutes, actually over 11 minutes because this video stops before the um, end. But in order to have a track of 11 minutes and keep everyone interested, there's got to be so much manipulation going on of the dynamics in terms of um, having quieter parts of the song and then slightly louder parts of the song um, and building up to that crescendo. Because what I want to do is um, show you an example of that. So I'm just going to let the video go on um, for a little bit longer so we kind of get the vibe of um, the dynamics that they're playing um, in this particular section. <laughs> Step right up to the microphone. 
Now see how when I uh, clicked in the video there, it's almost like you've suddenly changed to another part of the gig and they're now playing a ballad and it's nothing to do with the song that we were just listening to. And this is the amazing thing about Dire Straits and Mark as well. Whenever um, they play live, you always get this great dynamic change within all of the songs. Um, and especially Sultans of Swing kind of lends itself. Um, I mean, it's going to be the same progression for the whole kind of 11 minutes, but the way that they break it up and make it interesting is really impressive. Um, and I'm just going to play this on a little bit longer because this is the same song, but it just goes to show what you can do with one song when you just know what you're doing um, in terms of really pulling back the dynamics of the track. Hear how quiet that is, even on the saxophone, just kind of tickling those notes, kind of hardly letting any um, of that note out, but it's just in there, just really taking the dynamic down. And then when he leans into it a little bit more, it's gonna sound more dramatic. I don't wanna keep stopping the video, but um, it's really cool. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep the video going. I'll do another little jump forward just so you can see the difference here. I mean, I was going to um, stop it there and then I, I kind of stopped myself from stopping it because the playing is so good that you kind of just want to hear another three seconds, another five seconds, another 10 seconds. Um, and that's really an amazing thing when, when the track's 11 minutes long to just keep on wanting to hear more of it um, is a real skill. Um, and like we had there, um, I like to kind of um, compare it to when you're just starting to climb a little bit of a hill in terms of when they brought the dynamics down, you're just going up a slight hill and then, you know, a minute later, you're on top of the mountain um, and you're rocking out. And that's just that real increase in dynamic. They kind of take you on a journey. And that's what music's all about, really. And especially live, um, you know, great bands can take you on a journey on a song that you already know, but they can take it somewhere else. Um, and you always end up in a good place with, 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 with all the best musicians out there um, and the players that are at the top of their game. So this video is seriously impressive. It's pretty much like um, a tutorial of how to make a song interesting um, and how to change the dynamics of a song and just being great on all the instruments. I mean, there's so many kind of uh, great players here. Um, and and this video, I'm going to put a link to this video in the description below as well, because it's got all the players of the band um, named as well, kind of underneath the video. So uh, you can check those guys out as well. But uh, yeah, Mark, uh, really on the top of his game playing. You've, well, I've never seen a bad show from Mark. So um, he's always kind of right up there. But anyway, thank you for suggesting this video. Uh, keep those suggestions coming in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of this one. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!